here at EAA Airventure Oshkosh. Another great day and we have to check in with a company we have to check in with fairly often because there's always something new happening. We're standing in front of the newest thing happening. I'm Dan Johnson talking to Dan Waisman and what am I standing in front of here? It looks a little big compared to what we've looked at before. Yeah, it's a little big. It's a two-seat tandem version of our uh, Panther that we've been doing for about five years now and uh, just time to Time to tackle another project and have some fun. People were asking you for a two-seater, weren't From they? From day one. Yeah. I mean, that's the way it goes. But uh, I think we have about 130 single-seat ones, kits out, and uh, 35 right? or so flying. And, Is that right? uh, Good. Yeah, and it's In a good time. In five years? Yeah, five years. Yeah, about four nice. years of actually selling kits and things. i that's uh, very good, Dan. Good yeah, for you. So it's been, been good and uh, just time to... You know, start something else fun. You found a lot of spare time on your hands, thought you designed a whole new airplane, huh? Well, yeah, we've actually <laughs> dug ourselves out of the hole of, you know, learning and, and building and flying. Uh, but, yeah, we've we've made the time to get to it finally. And uh, it's, it's, you know, what we want to do from the beginning, just finally doing it. The basic construction premise is a, is a uh, 4130, you know, steel aircraft grade uh, kind of safety cage up front structure um, covered with aluminum skins and then a regular kind of standard, you know, monocou aluminum tail section, aluminum wings. Uh, it's all, you know, aluminum covered. There's no fabric or anything. It's all mat This is fully matched tool. We even have holes in the steel tubes to line things up and uh, just the next evolution of, ah, of right? capability. So let me point that out because the camera may not see that, but I'm noticing it's all square tube. Yep. Um, and then, but what I haven't heard, I don't believe I've heard this before, that you've got your match holes into the steel structure as well. Into then. the square Because I'm guessing that would be much trickier it's for somebody. It's trickier, and we actually don't match every hole. The skins are fully punched. We put, like, guide holes, like, say, 5% of the holes. Yeah. And, uh... You click the skins on, make sure they're laying flat, and then you drill into the tube. I see. Then the skins are actually bonded on with Pro Seal, the same thing we seal, you know, fuel tank and bulkhead sealer, uh, to seal it and make it a watertight structure so you don't get any rust inside the tube. Ah, it comes to you all powder okay. coated and ready to use, so uh, you know for longevity. So it's all you know, it's all welded and fully machined and done when you get it. But that's kind of and that's the same thing with the Panther, same way we do it. So what does that translate to in a builder's project? Now you're you're a kit company. You're not yep. doing fully built. Are you doing quick build? We, we currently do quick build um, for, for options the Panther, for the Panther. Yeah. Um, we currently, on the 51% stuff, we have the pre-built spars, fuel tanks, and canopies. We'll do the same, we'll start with the same things here, but then we're gonna go one step further and we'll see how far we can push 51% as, you know, we won't off the bat, but we'll we'll ease into, you know, quick build wings and things like that. The market wants them, so we'll do it. Sure, sure, well, I understand. You know, there, there are builders and there are flyers right. and there are some that are both and usually, the latter two groups want to get in the air quicker. Exactly. Some yeah. people just love the building. That's great. Yeah. Uh, but some don't. Uh, so what kind of project is this for a home builder? Could a could a first time home builder tackle the Cougar? I think so. Um, the the plans manual is, is going to be very detailed, much like the Panther, but even better. It's all online, available. You can even go just to our website and and look at the uh, Panther one right there, which so is open source. It's it's free to everyone to go look at. Uh, it, very similar. It's a combination of CAD drawings and photos. So you know some people. Go Go both ways, a step by step. I think it's pretty easy. It is all of this is match tool. Every hole's drilled, even mounting points for things. Wow. You may have to open up a hole with a drill bit, but you don't have to measure. Uh, there's there's right. gonna be there'll, virtually there'll be a, no what's, measure. What's called a pilot a hole, pilot a little hole. tiny pin hole, and that's where you put the drill bit. Basically. Exactly. So there's there won't be measuring and things like that. Um, the, the the thing you just described, this match hole everywhere, mm -hmm. including uh, bracketry and all the yeah. rest of that, and into the steel tubing. That's pretty advanced stuff. I mean, not very many years ago, you couldn't possibly have done that. How are you able to do that as a small enterprise? Hard work <laughs> uh, and learning a lot. That's, a given, but that, that's sure. why we did it. Um, truthfully, um, we have, you know, it's a steep learning curve for anybody to bust into this market of, the, let's say the 10 big guys, you know, Sonics and Rands, Vans, um, Zenith, those guys have uh, really set the bar high. They've been doing it for 30 and 40 yeah, years sure. each. So to get into it, it is it is a challenge. We know what the market expects though, and you just have to do it. You have to figure it out. Uh, it's 3D CAD and um, and, and CNC machining all the way. That's that's the only option, and it, that, that's part of the learning curve. But at least those uh, software tools allow you to do things that I don't know, 30 years ago or some number, you couldn't have even tried. Yeah, to even do. Grumman and, and Boeing weren't doing that. Then they they uh, led the way, and, and now we do it. Um, and it, that was really much of the fun, you know figuring out how to do it. Is that right? And we do everything in house, all our machining, all our welding. We don't do composite work, but uh, we do the plugs, send it out, uh, everything you else. You actually form the plug, we, we, for example, on your engine cowl up here. I see that's a fiberglass part. Yeah, that was uh, 
CNC routed on you know, 3D uh -huh. model. Uh -huh. and we sent the plug out to a company out west and they made molds and everything. So we make the plug to get the shape how we want it. And then we have, but everything else we do in house, uh, including all the hydroforming. Uh, if we heat treat something, it goes to a third party shop and gets uh, tested and comes back. But Some other than tools that, you, you just can't invest yeah. in and it wouldn't be yeah. worth it to you. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what engine you're going to put in the front of this uh, uh, this Cougar two place tandem. On our prototype, we're putting a Titan IO375, 195 okay. horsepower. We'll start with a SenseLink fixed, bit, fixed uh, ground adjustable prop and then ease into. Uh, after testing, we'll test the constant speed stuff. Uh, it's also uh, capable of having any 150 to 200 horsepower engine. We're not real picky about that stuff. We, we kind of play with auto engine stuff ourselves. So, you know, we're going to really do a good firewall forward for that engine and the uh, Lycomings in general. The ULs will cover, the, especially the big 200 horsepower one. And we're open to other people doing things. We probably won't cover it in house, but we're not, you know, hard against it. But you'll it. at least support the effort. We'll support the effort and uh, make it, cool. you know, and be easy going about it. All right. Important that we transition people well, so we're putting full dual controls in it. If a customer wants to do that, they can. Matco wheels and brakes, front, you know, front and back. Uh, the front seat has rudder pedals that adjust seven inches, and the seat adjusts seven oh. inches. Oh, wow. So we can cover a large range of pilots comfortably. You put the instructor in back. We're actually putting dual um, dyna, uh, GRT 10.1 displays, one in the front seat, one in the back seat. Wow. The only thing you won't be able to do is switch tanks or uh, do the engine run-up because you won't have those full controls. That'll be from the front seat, but that's something that you know you can inst the the instructor can have you know walk the uh, the student through. So. Um, it's all push rods, bearings, uh, only thing that's cables are the rudder cables and uh, they're all hidden in the floor. It's a little more elegant than the Panther where everything's can, you know, uh, kind of open like an extra. This is all concealed underneath the floor. Okay. There's one level of elegance or, you know, uh, finish work, yeah, finish work, whatever. exact yeah. polish, exactly. Yeah. So. Okay, cool. So, um, we talked about the project. We didn't really talk about how long the project would take somebody, I don't think. Did we, did we mention that? I forgot. No, I think the goal would be much like a Panther. We're making it easier, but it's a little bit bigger, 15% more airplane. Yeah. So we still think that you can get an airplane that looks kind of like an airplane, five to 700 hours, and then have one flying in about 1,000 hours is what we've told people. Okay, and if you have someone else paint it, you can maybe knock off a little, or maybe, you know, maybe you're good at that stuff. So, And there's also going to be the guy that's you know, going to build it in 2,000 hours because he's nervous. Of course. But, well, or because he just wants to do every single thing, really. And, and that's great. I mean, people should do what they want to do. Hopefully enjoy the process. It is blind rivets, um, and that goes really quickly. Yeah, they're, they're much faster, and you can get a, mecha, a tool that just does it by yep. power, so you're good to go. Um, so if somebody said, okay, you know, that this, I've been waiting for the two-seater. I loved your Panther, but I just didn't want a single-seater for whatever their reasons might be. Uh, I wanted a two-seater. Now I see you're getting there. I know you've already proven yourself. About how long are we talking before this would be available to a customer? As a kit, of course. As a kit, as a goal, uh, we would say sun and fun-ish this, okay. this year. This is the mock-up. This isn't the prototype. Uh, some of them are actually load test structures, which we waited to, to bring here to, in the trailer. So we beat something up. It wasn't the good parts. And we'll be destroying them in the coming weeks. Uh, look to our website later and see that stuff because we'll publish it all. Um, and then we'll uh, wrap up the uh, prototype. And... Um, you know, the goal would be to have a flying airplane by like the, the new year. And okay. uh, I think it's reasonable and things happen, but that's our goal. Sure, okay, that's that's a fairly short timeline. And then following that, perhaps it's sun and fun, uh, all about, only about nine months from now, you might be able to be ready to take orders. At least orders. taking pr production slots and shipping out things like tail kits. We actually already have tail kits producible. Okay. Uh, then that means this whole back, the tail cone oh, and tail. There, we have the builder's yeah. manuals, hardware kits, all that, you okay. know, not on the shelf, but it's as simple as running them on the CNC and sending them out. They're all been revised and and uh, it's good parts now. This is built out of essentially production parts. So, what can he expect in the way of performance from this aircraft, Dan? That would depend, of course, on engine size. But um, well, the one you're going to make. The Let's one go we're going to make. We would expect to have approximately with uh, with plus and minus six G rating for aerobatics, big cockpits so you can wear parachutes. We'd expect to have. Uh, about 600 pounds of useful load, so two fairly big guys in parachutes and delete some fuel. And uh, 1750 gross, so maybe as much as 750 or a little more than 750 useful for cross countries. Okay. Uh, stall speeds in maybe the 56 to 58 mile an hour range. Okay, that's low. Uh, Still yeah, low. Fairly good. Like a yeah. Panther, yeah. Yep. Um, then um, a little more aerobatic performance. It's, it does have a tapered wing with a large aileron, uh -huh. so large control movements, but high rates with uh, light forces. Um, and then 
again, tail dragger tri gear, cruise speeds. We oh, you're gonna offer it both ways. Both ways, and it's actually convertible. All the airframes, the oh. steel part has both landing gear mounts oh, in it. Okay, so no. you could just choose an engine mount with tri gear and actually make you both. Oh, great. Uh, and we'll probably pull that trick out an air show, convert it during the middle of the week, and show both. Is that right? That'd be a great one. We're doing that because I don't want to build two airframes to test two configurations. I'm a small company, and you know, 100 grand for an airplane is hard enough to, <laughs> yes. you know, with the development, it's hard enough to swallow. Let alone building two to test just a different landing gear. So I hear you. That uh, sounds and, like good thinking, Dan. Yeah. As you've been doing all along. And then cruise speeds, um, you know, true air speeds of close to 200 miles an hour is the goal. With it's 195 horsepower, yeah, so yeah. Uh, 40, 42 to 44 gallons of gas, depending on the actual volume. It should be a fairly capable airplane. Okay, very good. Well, you know, I've asked you a lot of questions here, and you still got some more work to do. But yep. while people want to follow you during that process, or if they want to ask the question that I just spaced out and didn't ask you, where do we find you on the web, Dan? Uh, our website www.flywithspa.com. Okay, and. Um, uh, you're on Facebook as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not. I'm a recluse, well. but no, our company is. I, I don't have the time to spend on it, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, our, yeah. our company is, and we send out, we push things. Uh, it's frequently. another way for people to follow what you're exactly. doing. So sure. Some people like it that way. Well, great stuff, Dan. Congratulations on getting this far, and uh, I'm sure we'll see some impressive stuff in less than a year then. Yep, we hope so. All right, very good. More about the Panther and eventually on the Cougar and all kinds of affordable aviation available on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Dan Waysman and myself here at EAA. AirVenture Oshkosh.